I'm Brandon from All American Thrills. We are at Dutch Wonderland today for the media event of the highly anticipated all new Merlin's Mayhem roller coaster. This is Dutch Wonderland's first suspended coaster and is a perfect fit to this family friendly theme park. Right now, we're gonna go take a look at the opening presentation for this ride. Let's go. My name is Jeff Eisenberg. I'm director of marketing here at Dutch Wonderland. And on behalf of our entire team, it is my pleasure to welcome you to the park for this exclusive look at our new roller coaster, Merlin's Mayhem. And it is a beautiful day. Who's ready to ride? All right. Nice. Well, we are thrilled at your interest in our new ride and very happy that you have joined us here today. Just a reminder to use our official ride hashtag as you're sharing your experience from the day and that is hashtag DW Merlin's Mayhem. You know, this coaster is such a perfect fit for our park. Before we all go for a ride today, we wanted to tell you a little bit. Oh, Merlin! Hi! My silly dragon friend has disappeared, and I'm gonna need your help to find him. Do you think you can help me? Sure. Yeah. Yeah? yeah sure. Well, I'm gonna need lots of help. I need you all to be ready to help me, so are you ready? Yes! yes. Ever since the day he was born, Mayhem always had a mind of his own. Let me tell you the story. I was taking a ride through the caves of Dutch Wonderland when suddenly I spotted a large egg. This egg was bigger than any egg I've ever seen before. The magical surprise hatched just a few days later and out popped a dragon. My new friend was a very curious dragon. I found him playing with my wand misusing his fire-breathing skills and causing all sorts of mischief. Because of all these mishaps, I knew exactly what to name him. Mayhem. Mayhem was turning out to be very friendly, but he always seemed to get into trouble. I taught him new tricks, how to control his fire breath, and even how to fly. Training was coasting until, well, something happened. Before I knew it, he was off! I tried to capture him, but he just disappeared in the distance. But I know he's around the park here somewhere, but I'm gonna need your help to find him. I built this magical high flying coaster that will soar through the sky to help me locate Mayhem. But we have no time to waste. Let's take a journey through Dutch Wonderland to find my mischievous friend. I wish I could talk more about this ride, but my friend Jeff here is gonna talk about this new coaster so I can keep looking for Mayhem. So I'll see you soon. Well, thank you again, Merlin. Uh, good luck, and we will be there very soon to take flight and help you find mayhem. You know, we really can't wait to watch our guests fly throughout the season and help out Merlin. And one of the really great things you'll find about this coaster is that it really delivers the thrills while still being very family friendly. In fact, with a height requirement of just 39 inches, some of our youngest guests can take their first rides aboard a big coaster, and mom and dad are still gonna have a lot of fun too. We were intentional about that, because here at Dutch Wonderland, it's all about family time. It's a place where firsts happen, where memories are made, and we hope families leave feeling a little bit closer together. But none of that is possible without the hard work and dedication of our entire team. And at its helm is a leader who truly embodies the values that we strive to bring to our guests every single day. So, it is my pleasure to introduce Dutch Wonderland's general manager, Laura Charles, here to share more about the inception and implementation of Merlin's Mayhem. Exploration Island in 2014 led to the perfect opportunity to add a feature attraction in the center of the park, and a new family coaster was a great way to round out our ride offerings at Dutch Wonderland. We 
We wanted something that was truly unique and special to our park, and a new thrilling but family-friendly coaster was engaging experience beyond anything that we've done before. Um, as the biggest attraction in our history, this ride encompasses everything Dutch Wonderland is about. Those shared experiences and creating those lifelong memories. And that's truly what I love about this ride. I can ride along with my eight-year-old daughter and watch her get completely immersed in Merlin and Mayhem's story. And it's been a great pleasure to watch our other team members here and their families as well as our guests sharing those same exciting experience and creating those memories with their families. And for some of our young guests, this is their very first experience on a coaster. Starting with that 60 foot climb to the top, followed by a great first drop, helix turns, and an underground tunnel dive, Merlin is there guiding the way. This is meant to be that shared experience for families that we know our guests are going to love. And we truly appreciate the support that we've received from everyone, and especially those who have worked so hard on this project. And a huge thank you and congratulations are in order to the team at SMS Sandside Technologies, who designed Merlin's Mayhem to be their first family coaster. We're thrilled to have taken the journey with them to bring this ride to life. And here to talk a little bit more about the ride itself is Pete Barto, Director of Sales at SMS. I gotta tell you, I'm so excited to be here at Dutch Wonderland um, representing SNS, opening this great new coaster. Uh, I'm not sure if, uh, how familiar everyone is with SNS, but we're located out in Logan, Utah. Um, however, I actually am a, I'm a local boy here from central Pennsylvania and still live in the area. So uh, this park and this ride opening up is something very, very special to me personally. Uh, I grew up going here. My daughter went to this park, she's now 18 years old, and uh, you know, God willing, uh, you know, perhaps my grandchildren will get a chance to ride this ride someday. So, just kind of going over uh, kind of how this ride came about, I wanted to tell you a little bit of, a, little bit of a story. Uh, we actually, uh, Laura mentioned about how, you know, it took a number of years reviewing and really matching up this ride with uh, the guests for this park, and the park really did some extensive research and a really great job. They, it's clear they understand their guests and they understand what their uh, what their season pass holders are looking for. So we started talking with them back in 2012 about this ride and uh, slowly progressed on and, and, you know, big thanks to uh, Rick Stammel uh, for all his help uh, with uh, putting the ride together, walking the park together, and finding the right way to really make this ride jump in this park. Uh, even down to that helix over by the, over by the lake, it was one of the key elements that we wanted to have so the guests when they came into the park were going to be able to see it, engage and be excited about riding the ride. Uh, just telling you a little bit more about the, uh, the ride design, uh, the vehicles themselves uh, was a very collaborative experience with the park. Uh, our company is, is known for kind of doing that collaboration but it was really the parks pushing a lot of different elements and a lot of different aspects regarding safety, operations, maintenance that really make this ride something very, very special. Uh, it is our first family suspended coaster. We're very excited about that as well. Uh, and one of the things uh, that makes it special and something that, again, we talked about whole families being able to ride the ride together is that 39 inch height restriction. Now don't mix it up and think this is a junior coaster. It is a family coaster. It's a, it's a ride that a four year old will enjoy, a 14 year old, a 40 year old, and an 84 year old. So we're real excited about that whole part of it. Uh, the coaster itself is a 20 passenger train uh, goes all, almost 40 miles an hour, uh, has multiple elements including a 60 foot rise to the top of the lift, a reversing horseshoe drop, uh, lofted tree helix, triple descending S-curves, uh, 3G climbing helix, a tunnel drop, station flare curve, and last but not least, a 180 degree turn into the brakes. So uh, one of the, uh, the, the final things that we looked at when we, were, when we were coming up with the design of this ride was making sure that we didn't take rides away because there's nothing more heartbreaking than taking someone's favorite ride out of a park to put in a new ride. Uh, so the park did a really nice job of working with us, telling us where they wanted this ride to go, how it could actually get around the existing ride. So rather than uh, dealing with addition by subtraction, this is addition by addition by being able to bring this ride in and still keep the existing rides in the park. 
So lastly, I just want to thank our team out in Logan, Utah, our manufacturing team, our engineering team, our design team, and everyone that put a lot of hard work in it, installation. Uh, the park itself has been absolutely wonderful to work with, and we are so proud to be able to open this ride uh, with the park and be a part of this special day here in Central PA. So uh, without further ado, I'll go ahead and introduce uh, Hannah Shepard, the marketing manager for Dutch Wonderland. Thank you. conducting one-on-one -on -one interviews and answering any questions for any media guests who are interested. Please see myself or Jeff Eisenberg after this ceremony if you would be interested in that. All guests will have the opportunity to ride our newest ride, Merlin's Mayhem. If you are interested in taking shots um, today, please see Chris or Justin in the station of the ride and they will assist you. Lunch will be served from 11 a.m through 12 p.m. in that panini place, which is located just down the pathway that is to your right. As you came in today, you should have received your media items, which include a USB drive with photos, video, and information about the new ride. If you didn't receive your items, please be sure to stop at the media table on your way out, which is in the Castle gift shop. Please also be sure to check your inbox tomorrow, as we will be sending all guests their on-ride photo for today courtesy of Get the Picture. As Jeff mentioned, don't forget to use our hashtag DWMerlinsMayhem when you're sharing content about the ride on social media. To end today's event, I would like to take a moment to thank several people who had a part in making this new attraction come to life. We would like to thank Rick Stammel, Vice President of Theme Parks of Palace Entertainment, for making this vision a reality. Thank you to our safety, maintenance, and ride operations team for their immense involvement in the development of Merlin's Mayhem. Thank you to our food and beverage team for all of their work in providing today's meal. We would also like to thank the rest of our Dutch Wonderland team for making this media event happen and for being here with us today. Thank you to Get the Picture, who is providing the on-ride photos for all of our guests here today, but then all of our guests who come to the park throughout the season. Thank you to the team at Discover Lancaster who is um, working to promote this new ride in the Lancaster area and for being with us today. Thank you to all of our friends from SNS for manufacturing this one-of-a-kind ride to be enjoyed by families who visit us this season. And thank you to each and every guest who came out to experience this unveiling of our first suspended coaster at Dutch Wonderland. To close, I would like to invite Laura, Pete, and Merlin to the ride entrance as we officially cut the ribbon to Merlin's Mayhem on the count of three. <laughs> Ready? One, two, three. Welcome to Merlin's Mayhem, everyone. Thank you for coming. All right, thank you for watching our opening coverage of Merlin's Mayhem at Dutch Wonderland. Make sure you come out to Dutch Wonderland this summer to experience Merlin's Mayhem. It is an incredibly fun roller coaster. It's extremely unique and it's 39 inch height requirement makes it very accommodating for smaller children, but it's also a lot of fun for adults and families. So kids, parents, grandparents, you can all ride Merlin's Mayhem together and enjoy a family experience experience together. So thank you again to Dutch Wonderland for your hospitality at today's media event and we were very thrilled to be here and thank you for watching. Thank you for watching this video. To be kept in the loop for future family-friendly videos, subscribe to us here on YouTube. You can also like All American Thrills on Facebook or follow on Twitter and Instagram. Be sure to check out the related content on your screen right now.